Well, you all, we made it. They say the journey of a thousand feet begins with one mile or something like that. That doesn't even sound right, but I'm so tired I don't care. So we have made it to the last hatchling video. There are two bags in this video. So here is the, uh-oh, actually, I think there are actually three. So let me start with this one. This is a little evening bag that I actually picked up from Steinmart because of the iridescent nature. Um, this is like a chain mail. And I personally think that this bag would go with any color that it, the, the, the underlying color would be picked up with anything you paired her with. She has gunmetal hardware and yeah, there's a story with this bag as well, but this is something I picked up from Steinmark. And here is another piece from the bay. Oh my gosh. I should own stock in eBay right about now. This is something that is wrapped in a Walmart bag, but at least it's in plastic. Handbaggers, did you know that you could pay from your phone at Walmart? I would like to thank the seller. Oh, okay. This is a bag that is not pretty, but I wanted to add it to my collection. First of all, because it's vintage Dooney and Burke. Second of all, because this bag has a pocket on the front, it has a slip pocket on the back, so we know where my phone is going. And like I said, it's vintage Dooney, so it's dark on the inside. And this says, can you all see that it says solid brass? As we know, vintage Dooney hardware is. So I, believe it or not, do not have a single black, solid black crossbody in my collection in this size. And when I saw this, I knew I had to pick it up because she belongs in the duck's nest. So there's the second item. And the last item in our marathon hatchling must end with a blue dust bag. Because after all, this is the duck's nest. So that's nothing but um, stuffing and a shape holder, which was nice. This item came in plastic and then the dust, dust bag, which was nice. And this is something that I have tried to add to my collection for about two years. And that is a white satchel with the contrasting trim. I actually had this bag at the duck's nest, but it was way too big and I sent it back, but this Satchel is what I consider the flagship Dooney and Burke bag, and I think all of us have one, if not more, in our collection. And I am really happy with this one because this is pebble leather and it has contrasting whip stitching. Where I think the Overland that I originally had, the stitching was the same color as the handle. And you know what, you all, this is the one bag. This is the one silhouette for some reason that I am perfectly okay not having outside pockets. I don't know why, I can't explain it. But some bags irritate me because they don't have outside pockets. This is not one of them. Um, yeah, not sure why. So the seller did a really good job with tassel management. 
and this bag is almost perfect. It's a pre-loved bag, but I was really nervous because she is white, um, or at least that's what the color says. She's coming off a little vanilla to me, um, but yeah, I'm so happy to be able to add this bag to my satchel collection. So there you have it, handbaggers. I am now officially out of your hair. No more hatchling videos. And I think I am just going to go collapse because I am so tired and I'm sure you're tired of seeing me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you all stopping by. I definitely appreciate your comments. And we will look at these bags in more detail at a later time. Thanks, and as always, happy carrying.